My name is Vivi and welcome to To The Beat, a series inspired by Steezy's reverse choreography. We have paired up four dancers and four music producers in a collaboration that will take a new spin on the usual ways of creating choreography. Today, we have Jaya, who will be dancing to no music, and then Ashwin will create a track inspired by her moves. Let's get to know our NUS artists. Hi guys, I'm Jaya. I'm from NUS Indian Dance. I mainly do Bharatanatyam, Indian dance, and I've been dancing since I was four. But recently, I've been exploring other types of dance like hip hop, TikTok dance. I mean, does that count? I hope, okay. <laughs> I think for me, the process was pretty challenging but what I did was I just put the metronome near my bed and I kept listening to it and then when like at midnight right, my inspiration suddenly strike then I was like, yes, I'm gonna do this. I think the main challenges that I faced was like the lack of music because the music usually sets like the tone, the mood and everything about the dance. So like what am I even going to dance about right? For me, Bharatanatyam right, basically we have a lot of expressions, storytelling and everything. Without any music, I was like, what am I going to do with my face? Am I just going to smile throughout, stare throughout? Those were like the main challenges that I faced. So without music, what inspired me was like movies that I watched before and the clock in my house. So for me, yesterday, <laughs> I was watching this movie which was about love. So it's like, love, a girl. Yes, I'm gonna bring a girl in. And then like, you know the feeling when like you're f like freshly in love, then everything that you look at suddenly is like so beautiful. Then the clock in my house is a peacock. So it's like, yes, I'm gonna <laughs> include a peacock in my choreography. So it was a girl who suddenly sees a peacock and like, usually you wouldn't bother. But since like she's in love, she suddenly looks at the peacock and she's like, I'm gonna dance together with a peacock like the peacock. Hi Ashwin, what I want to tell you is that you've given me a lot of space to work with whatever I want to do but you did give me like tips on what kind of speed I should go for and I think that was really useful and I'm really excited to see what you'll create. Yes! Hi, I'm Ashwin. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. I'm a member of the Indian Instrumental Ensemble in which I play the keyboard. This is a performance synthesizer in which I used to create the track. So this has an onboard 16 track sequence which you can see here. The dance cue which I received is a purely Indian classical dance which is Bharatanatyam. At first when I saw Jaya's movements, it was on a 4-4 cycle but towards the later half of the video, it was on like kind of swinging triplet patterns. This gave me a first thought on how I can approach the track. Hence I chose the guitar sitar pair to enable a blues rock feel to the clip. The sitar preserves the purity of the dancer's expressions while the guitar coupled with heavy drumming in the background on a blues pattern captures the footwork of the dancer. I also noticed that Jaya had a lot of subtle movements throughout the clip. For example, she twitches her hands and twirls around, so which I tried to capture it using the cymbals and toms along with the sitar glistening. The melody has a mix of Indian classical music and blues, which tries to capture her dynamically changing expressions which included amazement, doubt and happiness throughout the clip. Since I have a performance synthesizer, I play the tracks on the keys, including the drums, and mix them using the onboard mixer available on my synthesizer. Jaya, I hope you enjoy this different musical flavor to your classical choreo. Hope you like it. I feel like he got the whole water thing going on. The drum though! 
Yes, do 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 I love how it feels like it's gonna end, it's gonna end, then it just goes on. They're nice. What I really like about it is that if I heard this music, right, I would never think that I would actually like do a dance for it or like I would never choreograph those steps for that music but then it somehow fits so perfectly and I just love how it's like crescendoing and then just all the bass bro the drums are like mind blowing <laughs> and especially when there's like the ending right I love I love the ending the ending is my favourite part Ashin you got all of my like what was inspiring the dance itself like the water and like the dancing part like the peacock and stuff I think you really encompassed it in your music <laughs> I think like personally for me when I was like choreographing right I thought of a more like soft and like gentle kind of music but then like this one is like really filled with bass and like it's I think it's kind of jazzy and I think it's quite western also I think it's cool that you got a kind of western touch for a classical <laughs> Bharatanatyam dance I don't know how people thought of that but uh, yeah I think that's pretty cool Thank you Ashwini I hope to work with you more I hope you had fun with this as much as I did we hope that you enjoyed today's episode of To The Beat. If you thought what you saw and heard today was interesting and would like to follow our dancer or music producer, here are their socials. To The Beat was produced by NUS Centre for the Arts as part of our ExxonMobil Canvas Concert Series, or EMCC for short. Longing to see more? Stay tuned for our next episode. Keep tuning in to EMCC's virtual stage, but for now, this is Vivi signing off. Bye!